Hey guys, welcome to another video on Universal Trendy where you get the best of content. So today we are reviewing and unboxing the brand new PS5. I know it's been a long time since it was launched, but you it, it, it has been out of stock ever since because all the people just jumped on buying it and you know it just it just went away. Everything was out of stock. So I have been trying to get this on my hands for a long time now. And so I guess we I got it nearly a year after. So even though that's unfortunate, at least I got to get the content for you guys. So, I got the PS5 God of War Ragnarok Edition. If you ask me what does that mean, that basically means that I get that game for free. So, during the unboxing session, when I unbox the PS5 console, you guys will see that I have the uh, God of War Ragnarok Edition voucher. So it's a sort of letter and that has a voucher and I need to scratch from using a coin or a key. You know, like um, like just scratch it off and you get a code, like like um, you know, like a, a Roblox gift card, for example. And when I use that code, I will redeem it on the PS uh, PlayStation Store, and then I get that game. So everybody's been talking about this God of War Ragnarok game, and it seems pretty fun. So I got a lot of accessories to go with my PS5. For example, I got a black Dual Sense wireless controller. So, as you guys probably know, I know all you, or most of you guys are gamers out there, so you get the white controller with the console. So I did get that as well inside the console, but I also got another controller to play with my friends or family, or you know, whoever just wants to play with me. So basically what's special about this control is that just like the PS4 control this has you know you, you get a feeling of what you're going to do so it has the haptic feedback so basically um, if you shoot for so basically if you play Fortnite and you want to shoot somebody when you shoot or when you get shot there's this vibration that comes onto your hands and that, that gives you a pretty natural um, effect and so I'm just going to give an overview of what I have today and after let's start unboxing. So, I have that, and then I have the PlayStation Pulse 3D wireless headphones. So, I, I got all of these separately, and this is a dual hidden, it has dual hidden microphones, it's noise cancelling, and it, it's camo, I love camo. So, you know, you, you could use this on the PS5, the PS4, and goes on. So, basically how this works is that it's not, you don't connect it via Bluetooth. So, that's, you know, wireless mouse, right? Like the wireless mouse is on a computer so what we basically do is that um, we connect a USB um, it's like uh, it's like a pen drive so basically you put that on the PS5 console and that helps um, helps me to connect the Pulse 3D wireless headset onto the console so it's basically like a wireless mouse but you, you get audio out of it, it's a headphone so this has a 12 hour battery and it's the best for gaming for example if you want to chat with your friends and game at the same time so this is an overview as i said before so then i got the playstation sony media remote so you don't get this with the console on the in the main box so you have to order this separately so this is basically like a tv remote where you can you know like um, browse netflix you can watch movies on that youtube spotify disney plus and just goes on so this this is dedicated to get TV feeling. So basically, you could use as you guys probably know, you guys can use the um, PlayStation Five, the PlayStation Four as a TV, as you know anything you want. So it's not not only for gaming. So we leave that aside. And then next up, we have the power stand, which I got separately as well. So all of these accessories I got separately. So what's special about this is you know. For example, if you, get, if you get a controller, you need to plug each one one by one because you have one uh, charging cable and you guys have two controllers if you bought one. So I have two controllers and to make it easier, I got the power stand where which means I plug this onto a power source and then I, I, I basically fit in both my controllers and they both um, charge together. So that's pretty time saving. So I have both of my controllers ready when I want to play. So, for example, if you guys only charge one and somebody can, hey, I want to play, that's, they are going to face a problem there. So, due to that, I have two controllers all charged up. And this is an external cooling fan. I don't know if you guys would buy this, but I, I mean, it's really helpful. So, you know, um, if you play a really, really, um, really, really, like, 
um, like a very powerful game which takes up a lot of um, heat and it, it's gonna um, heat up your um, console, the PS5 console. So I got an external cooling fan where you connect this via USB and it cools the console for you from the air intake. So it, that's how it works like that. So that's all I have for accessories and then we have the and then we have the console. So first of all, I think we are gonna unbox the um, the PS5 con uh, controller. So I do have a small knife with me here. So let's carefully, let's carefully just try to unbox it right there. I guess I have to do this right there. So this is the packaging of the controller guys as you guys can see so it's neatly packaged it's inside another pocket of some sort and it's inside another box inside a box so that's how it goes and you guys so I'll keep this aside for now and you guys have a user manual for the DualSense wireless controller and it's in, it's in um, French as well so it's an instruction manual so I'm going to keep that aside for now I'm going to keep that down and we are going to take our controller outside. So, it's a moment of truth. This is the beautiful con PS5 controller, guys. This is, so, the first feeling I ever get from using this controller, it's really sleek, and there's no difference to the PS4 controller, cause it's, even though it looks a bit different, it's basically the same. So, it has a Type-C charging port, and it's, it's very, it's very um, comfortable for the hand, so it's the same um, controls. So yeah, the R2 here, the L2, the R1, the L1. So all of these are the required the required buttons when playing the game. So you guys have the PS5 switching on button, and also what's special about this is this has an inbuilt microphone. So you guys don't need an external headphone, even though I have one. So in the in the previous um, in the previous I, uh, PS4, I used to wear headphones to um, talk with my friends when during playing Fortnite most of the time. So during that, I had to like um, just you know just um, uh, like unmute the mic through the game. So now I do not need to do that because you have uh, a mute and unmute button in your controller itself. So this is full black, as I said before. This is the one I bought. Um, uh, separately from the console so you guys have your, all your controls so so you guys have the buttons here so that this reminds me of a funny uh, memory when I first got my PS4 which was like years back so it, it was actually a gift for um, gift for, from me for my mom and dad and I was really happy because I didn't really know that uh, something called a PS4 existed because I was really small until I got the PS4 so you know, as I said before, this looks like the PS4 controller, but something I was confused about was, so I got that also I got with a game called the Uncharted. So I got that game for free on my PS4 I'm talking about. And, you know, when I was playing that game, they were like, press R1 for this, press R2 for this. And I was like, what's R1, R2? And I was really confused and I just kept on just pressing buttons until I got my thing right. And yeah, eventually, even though I'm still, even though like I only learned what it is recently, and so that that was a pretty good memory. <laughs> and also, you guys have a button here for for various uh, reasons. So I cannot tell you guys the exact reason for these buttons because it depends on game to game. So sometimes you guys can um, customize your controls, and you know it just goes on. So as I said before, when you guys play this game, uh, like this is for jump and you know, it just goes on. Uh, when you play this game, if something, this has, um, this gives you the feeling of what you're experiencing inside the game. For example, if you get shot in this game, you get like a vibration, which actually sort of, sort of like um, gives you a really good feeling of what, what's happening inside the game. So, you know, this, uh, you guys can also get the VR headset, which is the virtual reality headset from the um, PlayStation Store. I didn't get that because I don't think most games are 
can can um, do that with it because more they are no VR games most of it so I didn't get that but I did get what I needed so that's it for the controller so as you guys can see here it says it has Sony on the back of it and as I said before we, we could I could charge it through my um, uh, power stand and I could easily do that without a wire so I'm, I won't be using the type C charger because I could just you know just place it and it would get charged so I would just leave that aside I'll just leave it um, I would put it in the case just like this you don't want to mess with it put it neatly close it and place it in the box and second of all I would um, review the headset so this is the headset I bought guys it's a wireless headset so I'm gonna pull it out just like this This is the headset guys it looks really nice for gaming so this this headset is really different than what I have actually seen cuz so this is how we wear it so you guys can see the direction of where you need to wear it so right so I should wear it like this so right and left so it goes like this it's fully noise cancelling so I can't really hear a word you guys um, if you guys are here so because I ordered the camo one I got camo camo so you know this like like the like the army and it looks really nice it's noise cancelling and you guys have all the controls here the volume up and down the mute um the the monitor off and on and the chat and the game so you guys can just do everything you want in the game with just a click of a button and that's actually really nice that's a nice feature so um to to keep you guys head safe from hitting the top there is a small bridge type of thing here to which extends uh, it goes up just um, it depends on your head size and it's just beautiful so you guys my, one of my favorite features is that you guys have the PlayStation logo here so as you guys can see and there's a microphone that's inbuilt microphone it's, it's noise cancelling as I said before and you guys can switch it on and off with just a slide switch like this so it's really nice so uh you you guys get a wire with it let me check let me um, check the box for that that's the that's styrofoam in it and now this is where uh, all the details and stuff are so there's some sort of pocket so let's see what that is so you open the pocket just like that and this is where all the wires are look at this guys so all the wires needed um, to play the game freely is in here and this is the wireless Bluetooth connector I was talking to you guys about so basically you guys connect this on the console the USB and you guys can basically get it connected and you guys have I'm gonna put this in you don't want to lose this if you guys want to play wirelessly put that in and this is your charger cable guys um, it, it's a type C as well so everything is basically type C just like everything is changing to type C in the in, in the right now currently so the iPad is type C and this goes on most of the technology products are type C just like if you guys watch my iPhone 14 Pro Max review video you guys should have seen that that was type C as well so just like that the charging port of this is a type C so it's, it's a usb and you charge it using a type c so it's nicely nicely um, um tightened using this so it won't just go everywhere so you guys can reuse this so that's nice so that's what's inside of the pocket and we also have some sort of audio cables inside give this aside right here so you guys have this sort of audio cable where you guys can plug this onto the PlayStation 5 and get the audio with wire. So that's a bit that that's a I I'm not I'm not a big fan of wired stuff. So I like wireless because it's pretty handy. 
you can just go anywhere you want and not, it wouldn't affect um, where your movements because when you have wires it's going to get tangled and you know I'm not a big fan I don't know about you guys but me I'm not a big fan of it to be honest so you're going to neatly put all of this in so just advise do not lose this stuff guys so if you do lose this stuff are going to cost a lot more to get um, once you lose it so I'm going to put this stuff in and I'm going to just close it just like that see just like I got it so now I'm going to put that in just like this just the way it was and we have a, a feature manual so that's 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 interesting so if you guys have any problem uh, any question about anything how this works uh, how the pulse 3d head wireless headset works you guys can read this so this is all the information how you connect it um, to the console and you guys can basically get all of the information you need so basically um, how, what uh, these buttons do for the game like the chat button the mute button and it just goes on so this is called a quick start guide uh, you can use that quick starter guide and it basically represents all the features of the headset so I'm just gonna put that in and just leave it as it is to move on now we are gonna I'm gonna unbox and review the power stand so I did tell you guys I got this to charge both my um, wireless controllers at once. So just gonna get this removed like this. And this is how beautiful the packing is. So everything is packaged really, really neatly and beautifully. So this is how it comes out. Leave the box aside. And voila, this is this is the um, the power stand for both my controllers. So I'm just gonna remove it nicely, put that aside, and show you guys what how this actually works. So I'll just I'll just show you guys the main component um, first. So you guys see my um, controller. So just like um, we just put the controller on top of this, just like shown on the um, box, and this is going to charge both our controllers at once. So what you get inside the box is the charger. So this is the, the stand, this is the power stand. And then you connect this beautiful orange wire. Uh, it's packaged as well. You connect this beautiful orange wire to this hidden port, just like, wait, one sec, yeah. Just like that, as you guys can see. And then we are gonna connect this onto the wall mount, the wall plug mount. And then we, we place our both our controllers in here and then we could um, charge them faster and also you could charge both of them at once so this is really really helpful for me because I have a lot of friends I have friends in Japan and I have a lot of friends joining from Sri Lanka and whenever my friends and family comes to play with me in my house I could um, play with them together and there won't be any issues um, with, uh, with um, regarding um, power supply charging so everything is nicely um like nicely covered so I do, i'm not a fan of removing these things so i'm just gonna leave it like that i might remove it later so just like the other um wires everything is tightened using this stuff and so we remove it just like a normal charger just like that pretty easy and then we cover it like this cover it with the polythene and also, we guys have another thing inside. We have a stand. So, one sec. We have a stand here, which we are gonna place, and it's gonna work like this. So basically, there are clips here, as you guys can see. We, we place all these clips in this stuff, and then we can stand it, and um, supply it without any issue because if you keep this down like this um, it would be pretty hard because it's gonna it's not gonna be balanced well so we do need a charger for that so guys um, what what I have in my hand is the PlayStation media remote so it's basically like a TV remote but for my PlayStation so I didn't get this with the console I got this separately as you guys can see so this is the box um, it's pretty sleek just like all the PlayStation 
box it has the blue and the white which is sort of like the theme for all of this so let me remove the box nicely just leave that aside um and turn this like that pull it out keep it aside and this is the packaging so if you guys don't have batteries at home no worries sony actually provides you with their own sony batteries which is actually really worth it because I, I, I have really experienced stuff where I don't find my batteries and that's actually really annoying. So you open the remote like this. In my hand. This is the beautiful remote. So it, it's really nice. So it's like a normal remote, but it has um, the, it's like the PS5, the black and the white. So um, this, is, this is the theme. So it looks really nice. There's Netflix, Disney, Spotify, and YouTube. And you have the PS uh, PlayStation logo right here. And you can press that as well. That's to switch on the, the PlayStation. And you guys have the voice control. And you have basically you have all the controls of a basic TV remote. So you guys can use this to play Netflix and just to do whatever you guys want to use the PlayStation as a TV. So well, what I have in my hand is external cooling fan for the PlayStation 5, as you guys can see right here. So the, there's a demonstration on how it's placed um, on the cover of the box itself. So what exact, so I'll just open this first and give you guys more information about it. So you open it like this, comes out, you just use a manual, just like this. This is the packaging. and. Remove it, everything is covered in, everything has its own packaging, really nice. So, this is the cooling fan. So this is RGB lighting and it actually attaches and detaches really easily onto the PlayStation 5. It goes just right, right on the side of it where the air intake um, is taken in. As you guys can see, just right here, just right there. That's where the air intake is placed. And there is an inbuilt USB 2.0, it's called the 2.0 USB, it's there and you basically easily attach it and if you guys want to remove it, you easily take it out. There are no wires in this, it's all inbuilt right here, so there are fans which adds uh, more airflow onto the PlayStation 5. So this you just plug this in and you guys have an, a USB right here as well. This is the power button, so you guys can easily switch it on and switch it off when you want. So. Stay here for part two guys because I have classes now and due to that I have to go and so stay in for part two it will come soon so um, subscribe and keep your notifications on peace out